Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Learn Today. I am Miss Barb, and I'm here with Miss Kristen. Hello, everyone. We're so glad you joined us today. We're going to start with a song about an itsy bitsy monkey, and it's to the tune of Itsy Bitsy Spider. So just follow along. Ready, Miss Kristen? I am ready. All right. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and hit him on his knee. Ow! Coconuts are hard, so they're going to hurt. Out came a lion shaking off his mane. That's his hair. And the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. All right, very nice, very nice. All right, I have some pictures. These are, oh, are some African animals. Can you see those? All right, let's take a look. The first one is, you guessed it, that's a giraffe. And here with the long trunk, it's an elephant. And over here, the stripes is a zebra. Here's our monkey climbing up that tree. And this is our crocodile and he's swimming in the water. So we have a rhyme about our animals. Do you want to show them, Miss Kristen? I do. So we're going to start with our giraffe. I'm sure you notice he's a long neck. So we're going to start with giraffes are tall with long necks. An elephant's trunk is big and strong. So wave your trunk. Zebras have stripes and gallop away. <laughs> While monkeys in the trees do sway. Old crocodile swims in the pool so deep where lies in the sun and goes to sleep. All right. Now we have our book today and it's called Everyone Counts by Judy Sierra and the pictures are by Mark Brown. Can you see there's different animals? We're going to learn about all these animals and why they all matter. It all started out small with no creatures at all, just a musty old, dusty old, tumble down mall. Then along came. Dakota, the tiger cub, who saw the tumble down mall and imagined a zoo. But to build a new zoo takes a mighty new crew. So there's the tiger cub thinking about building a zoo where this mall used to be. Two tough rough rhinos arrived with a crash here's one and here's two and they swept out the mall and they bulldozed the trash and soon cleaning it out i'm sure you've seen buildings torn down and they have to remove all of that mess all right so here you see these there's a, a cricket jumped up then an ant then a bee a rhinoceros beetle a wasp and a flea a spider, a mantis, a moth, and a fly. We can help build a zoo, buzzed the fly. Let us try. Oh, the rhinoceros, do they look happy about it? Not a chance, said the rhinos. You bugs are too small. You're pests, you're annoying. You don't count at all. Hmm. And here we have three lemurs rolled paint on the walls and the stairs. So here's one, two, three lemurs.
four Oryx cut windows, some circles and squares. Can you see them? There's one, two, three, and there's four. Five bears carved out burrows and tunnels and layers. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. That's a lion, that's not a bear. That's where the lions live. All right, six giraffes raised up towers much taller than trees. There are giraffes. Seven bats lifted banners that blew in the breeze. It says, everyone welcome. They're getting ready to open up their mall. Make way for the playground, eight elephants cried. Oh, they have a playground at their mall. And nine moose dug a moat, nine feet deep and nine feet wide. The moat is where the water is. And Ten crocodiles sculpted a grand water slide. They ask all of their friends to climb up for a ride. Oh, it looks fun. Look, they're coming down. I bet you like the water slide. And two rough, tough rhinos were blocking the way, snorting, this is our slide. No one else gets to play. There they are. They're not very nice to everybody else. And silently, stealthily down from the sky came the spider, the mantis, the moth, and the fly. Along with the cricket, the ant, and the bee, the rhinoceros beetle, the wasp, and the flea. Can you see them? They're all over the rhinoceros' faces. One bug crept in each ear while three snuck up each snout. Do bugs really count? We're about to find out. It says 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two rough tough rhino sneeze. Can you sneeze? Go, oh, choo! As into the air, they flipped and they flew. Here he goes again. Ah. Oh no, look at the rhinos now. The rhinos were rubbing their noses and ears, crying nearly 1,000 rhinoceros tears. We're sorry they blubbered for bullying you. We're rough and we're tough, but we don't rule the zoo. The animals rocketed out onto the slide for an up and down, all around fabulous ride. They swooped and they bounced and they looped and they pounced. Then Takoda, the tiger cub, proudly announced, our zoo is the best because everyone counts. So they all put a piece of the zoo together. And that's the end. All right, so we're going to count. They counted, and you probably couldn't see, but I just want to show you one, two, three, four, five, and on the back of the rest, we have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So everybody does count. All right. That was a great book. I like that book. I've never seen it before. Really cute. Yeah. All, All right. right. We so, up with Miss Kristen's help, I know we're familiar with our coconut tree and our monkeys. So, when you're ready, Miss okay. Kristen. <laughs> so, we have five monkeys, but we can use our fingers. So, we have one, two, three four, five. So five little monkeys swinging in a tree. 
teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. Oh no. So how many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four. So four little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, as quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. Oh no! So we're down to one, two, three. Three monkeys. Three little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. Oh my! How many do we have left? One, two, two. So we have two little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. So now we're down to one. One little monkey swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of that tree. Oh no! No more monkeys in the tree. All gone. I have to say, I was saying the paper says crocodile, but it was green, so I changed it to alligator. That's perfectly all right. That was what I saw in the online, but that's good. Crocodiles and alligators are a little bit different, but they could take right. choose whichever one they wanted. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna finish up. Try, I've been trying to do crafts each week and I do have one more craft and we're started out. Can you tell us what shape is that, Miss Kristen? Can you help us out? It has three sides. Right, you're right. The triangle. Right. Now, if you flip it over this way and you turn it this way with all these other small triangles, it makes a tiger face. Remember, Dakota the tiger cub was helping with the zoo. So I thought, well, we could make a mama tiger. So I have googly eyes, but you can color them in. Just cut triangle shapes, or if you don't want to cut, you can color and look. Triangle ears. This is a triangle. If you don't have black and orange like I have, make it purple and green. Make it yellow and orange. Make it any color you want. You can color it, cut it, glue it. So I thought you might enjoy doing it after the story time. All right. Well, that's all the time we have today. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care.